All right, so what's this thing? This is called a circuit switcher. And it's on the high side of a transformer. There's a low side, 34,000 volts, and a high side, 115,000 volts. And the way that this thing operates is that inside of each one of those bottles, there's an insulating gas called SF6. And inside that bottle is where the break happens. If you look right there at the end of the bottle, you see a little gray indicator and that tells you that everything's okay in the bottle. If uh, I had low gas pressure, those would be red. So inside the bottle, when these open, it's fast, clunk, and it breaks the circuit. Once the circuit's broken, that switch opens so that there's a physical break between the energized 115,000 volts and the part that you've de-energized the transformer. And uh, the newer ones, they, they, they'll, some of them, they stay disconnected. Other ones, they actually, after it's open, that bottle will, the contacts inside the bottle will close again so that the isolated switch blade is not isolated and able to pick up uh, an inductive current or electricity. Kind of like static electricity when you're on a trampoline or a carpet and you get zzz, pow except it's way more powerful than that. It can actually kill people. So in an effort to reduce that, the newer ones actually reclose after the switch is open so that when these lines are grounded, there's no danger on the freestanding open blades of the switch. But that's a circuit switcher and that's the basic operation of how they work.